obviously in the rain set up here, so we marked it off nicely. But every time every time we come we have to put in the everything back in again because the baboons come and they pull everything out and you know. So I'm looking for a kudu. Yeah. And if we see the kudu, I get to shoot first. If we oh, see yeah. anything else, my man here, Chris. <laughs> One ball. He's got his head down like that. You see him? Yeah. Bah. Nice. Dropped him. He stunned it. Good job. Hey, keep Thank it, you, keep man. it up, keep it up. Whoa. It might let my everything tingle down a little. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I was like, woo. <laughs> it's more than what you expect. It's just different than what you expect, I guess, you know. I think what I want to do is we go over this ridge and work this side. <laughs> Good job, man. He's beautiful. He is an absolute beautiful animal. Okay, uh, well, it's obviously <laughs> start to a good morning here. Yeah? Before 10 o'clock, we've got two Hardebeest bulls down. Some excellent shooting by both these gentlemen here. So uh, they have no excuses now. You just better keep it up and we should we should finish by uh, by noon. We'll have all five of them dead. <laughs> Everything by noon. down. Congratulations, Thank guys. You, good John. job. Yep. Cheers, man. Fantastic. Okay, uh, so we're going to go for kudu now. We're going to go into the mounds. That's, the kudu bulls are in a rut now, so they're with the females. Uh, they generally like to stay in the rockier, the rockier areas of the, of the property. So we're going to go there. It's prime time now. Uh, we've got the last two hours of the day. So this is the best time for kudu. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Looks like a cow where they girls the boys. So. You see it? a lot of sign here there's a lot of good sign on the road and in the open area so they are here the bush is so thick it's different we've seen a car and a calf now while young bull but uh yeah that's about it it's pretty quiet here today <laughs> 